So when I was in college, I read this book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's kind of one of those classic spiritual enlightenment books that millions of people read because they want to learn how to live in the present and be happy. And after I read it, I felt present and happy as well for a while and tried to live by a few of the passages that stayed with me. Nothing ever happened in the past. It happened in the now. Nothing will ever happen in the future. It will happen in the now. Let me say it again. The present moment is all you ever have. There is never a time when your life is not this moment. Is this not a fact? Every physical object or body has come out of nothing, is surrounded by nothing, and will eventually return to nothing. When you read stuff like this, it makes sense, and you feel a little bit better about things. But then it kind of all fades away. You forget about it. You let the stress sneak back in, and suddenly, life just happens. And then, almost a year ago, we stumbled upon the idea of meditation, found our amazing teacher Eddie, got trained in the practice of Vedic meditation, and since then we've become daily meditators and our life feels a thousand times better. And so I decided to reread The Power of Now and see what effect 20 minutes of meditation twice a day would have on my understanding of the book. And I wanted to share the passage that stuck with me the most this time around. To be free of time is to be free of the psychological need of the past for your identity and the future for your fulfillment. It represents the most profound transformation of consciousness that you can imagine. In some rare cases, this shift in consciousness happens dramatically and radically, once and for all. When it does, it usually comes about through total surrender in the midst of intense suffering. Most people, however, have to work at it. Let me reread that last line again. Most people, however, have to work at it. And without really realizing it at the time, we've been working on exactly this concept twice a day for 20 minutes every single day. And even though life feels a million times better than a year ago, there are still those stressful periods where I forget all about living in the present moment. So I decided to get a little reminder on my arm, which is how I ended up on our friend Eva's couch. Thank you.